In this section, we'll look at two very important areas for quickly organized and most importantly, convenient work in the NanoCAD program. We'll start by studying the selection tools. The first tool is the rectangular selection. There are two choices. The regular selection and the crossing selection. Their main difference is not just in color, but in how they select the object. Regular selection selects only the areas that are entirely within the frame. But the objects that are partially inside are not selected. Characteristic features are the blue color, which can be changed in the standard settings of NanoCAD. This way, the selection won't work. The second is the crossing selection. It highlights the area. In green and affects all objects that fall within the crossing area. Therefore, we don't need to select the all the objects. You can select just a part, and they will all be under selection. In addition to the two main drawing modes, there is also a lasso option. This tool allows you to select objects with an irregular contour and has identical selection options, namely regular and crossing. The only difference is that when activating the lasso, you need to press the left mouse button and select the desired area with the cursor. Crossing lasso. Regular lasso. The lasso selection can be toggled using the spacebar. Also, don't forget that there's point selection a click of the left mouse button on the desired object. We advise using the rectangular selection as it is the most convenient and most accurate. Now, we will introduce the quick object selection utility, which allows selection of objects inserted into the drawing based on specific criteria. In this example, a set of points is shown. We'll try to modify the properties of some of them and see how the utility itself works. To open the Quick Selection dialog box, we can go through the Utilities group within the Home tab and Quick Selection button, or we can go through the Property toolbar. The next dialog box will display the search criteria which we can configure ourselves after specifying the object type. Currently, we can see that the search criterion in the current space is activated. Let's try to use each of them and set up the search conditions. The first criterion is in the whole document. In the whole document will display the same number as in the current space. Because at the moment, we don't have any other additional examples and values, so the number of points in the whole document and in the current space will match. The next button is Presets. With this button, we can save selection conditions into a named preset. Currently, there are no conditions set. We'll define them a bit later, and in the future, the saved preset can be used to select objects based on the saved conditions of that preset. Next is Reset Conditions. And lastly is Selection Parameters. Selection parameters will allow include frozen and invisible layers. After which, we have selection actions that allow either adding results to selection, set the result to a new selection, or subtract result from selection. Now, let's replace some properties of a randomly selected set of points. We'll set the conditions and make a selection. Now, close the window. We'll randomly select an area in the space. Assign a new color, let's pick yellow. Now open the Quick Selection dialog box. Specify the object type. Set the conditions by which the selection will occur. Color. Like or contain the value. Next, choose the color to which we change the number of points. 679 out of the total number. 
In this way, for each object type, you can set an unlimited number of search conditions based on one or several parameters. If you've noticed, the search conditions offer several options for selection. The first is equal, then not equal, greater than, less than, greater than or equal, less than or equal, like or contain the value, and unlike or doesn't contain. Now, let's try to save the preset. We'll save the template and name it. Point 1. Now, we'll open the resulting preset. And open all the points we have on the drawing. This template will save the set selection conditions, and it can be used in the working process. Also, in NanoCAD, there is a functional panel selection under the Manage tab in the Palettes group. This panel is identical in functionality to the Quick Selection dialog box. You can use either the Open dialog box or the Functional panel 